With me now is Leo Nuhan, who's a board member of Kevin's Song and the coordinator of today's conference. And congratulations, I see a smile on your face, Leo. Hundreds of people are here and soaking up these important messages. You have to feel proud. Oh, I'm, I'm thrilled today. Uh, I think on behalf of the whole board at Kevin Song and all our advisors and helpers, I mean, it really turned out to be way better than we ever anticipated. The numbers are great. The cross-section of people, the diversity, the, uh, the fact that we have teachers and educate, I mean, uh, mental health professionals and uh, some physicians and advocates for suicide prevention and mental health. It's, it couldn't have been perfect. It couldn't have been better it, than today. I, I can only imagine the amount of work it took to pull this all together. It, it takes a long time to kind of pull it together. Uh, there are months when you think, gee, I don't really have a whole lot to do. And then in the last 90 days, it's, it's a gee, lot. I have a lot to I do. I have a lot to do. What do you hope personally in your heart when you think of all the work that you've put into this, what do you hope will come out of today? What do you hope you accomplish? I, I hope that we can move the needle throughout the state to, to make people more aware of the need for suicide prevention. And I hope that we can finally convince the business community and those who are in charge of our schools and those who uh, run our health systems and those who pay our medical bills through insurance I want those groups to understand the need for this and to join us in advocating for better risk assessment, better access, and better prevention. In the years that you've been doing this work, Leo, are, are you seeing attitudes changing? Is there a shift? Absolutely there is. How? There's some momentum now in the state of Michigan, and I think it's, it's in part uh, thanks to the current leadership, the previous leadership. There was... There was many efforts that were being made to uh, change mental health, the delivery of mental health systems. Uh, everybody is kind of working hard to find the right model to deliver it. But we're finally seeing some awareness of suicide and how serious of a problem it is at different levels for young people, for middle-aged men that are working, for seniors, for veterans. And we finally see some movement. The governor has asked for a statewide plan and the uh, legislature has just passed a law that will establish a suicide prevention commission. Mm -hmm. And so we're trying to form a coalition, um, a large statewide coalition of coalitions to, to, to help the state make those moves and to help the business community and the insurers and the healthcare. Mm -hmm. Everybody is interested, but nobody has ever stepped forward to bring them all together. Unite. And Unite. that's what we're doing with One Voice. And briefly, there's a new film. Um, how do you hope this film will kind of further this cause? The whole point of the film was to show people what's out there, what resources are out there mm -hmm. for schools, for people that work with youth, for, uh, you know, for families, to give them the tools to address some of these issues. Well, uh, the work is, is never ending. You are tireless. Kevin Song is a wonderful resource. We're lucky to have you. Thank you for being with Thank us. Thank you. Leo. Thank you.